All right, well, good morning, everybody out there in the internet world. Um, and I mean morning, because it's early. Uh, I'm sitting here and I, and I have this cup of coffee, not just to reinforce the fact that it's early, but because I kind of need it right now. I, my, uh, see, it's so early. That my, this is, this is the, the time of morning where, where my grandma used to say that you're up with the chickens. <laughs> I'm up with the chickens right now. And uh, you might ask yourself, well, why the hell did you get up so early, Mr. Miller? Why aren't you sleeping? And the answer to that is, I'm not sure, but I figured, what the heck, I'm here, and I'm covering out and subtracting polynomials in class anyway, so let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, all right. So uh, let's go. All right, uh, adding and subtracting polynomials. Hey, yo, it's pretty much combining like terms. That's what it is. When you're adding and subtracting, really all you're doing is just counting how many of a certain thing you have. That's what adding and subtracting is. It's just counting. I have this many of those, or I got this many of those. If I take away these, oh, this is what I have uh, remaining. And so when we're adding and subtracting like terms, it's important that we first decide what are our terms that we are to combine. So that's why I busted out these colors. Wow. <laughs> that actually, uh, I, oh, see, that's what normally happens. That's what normally happens. The layout's upside down. So I'm going to find my like terms first. So I'm going to use blue here, and I'm going to circle this and this. So those are like terms. You don't have to circle if you don't want. I'm circling because I'm trying to teach. They're the like terms because it's the same variables being multiplied and the same power. And the term is the same degree. So that's a degree three, that's a degree three. Uh, here's a different term. So I'm not gonna combine the blue circle with the pink circle because they different terms. And I'm not supposed to combine different terms. I combine like terms. This one over here, that's also, so the pink, they're gonna be combined. And my constants, they always combine. I've been combining those for a long time, even when I was a little kid. Five plus two, I know what that is. That's seven, all right, here we go. So this says seven x squared y. x squared y is the term. There's nothing wrong with that term. It's a beautiful term. In fact, I'm gonna draw all seven of them. Look at that. Man, look at all those terms. Mercy. And I'll put a, see, they're just x squared y's. I have seven of them. It's fine. They're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. Look at them. They're, they're, they're nice. How about that? Uh, over here, let me flip. Over here, I got five of them. So watch this. I'm going to draw all five. Boom, boom, boom. That's what the five times x squared y means. It means I got five x squared y's. It's okay. It's not a problem. They're beautiful little terms. Look at them. How about that? So I really got two buckets, right? I mean, I got this parenthesis and I got this parenthesis. Over here, I got seven x squared y's. Over there, I got five x squared y's. So how many do I have all together? How many x squared y's do I have all together? Well, you can just count them if you like. I've got 12. 12 x squared y's. Boom. That's what combining like terms is. It's counting. It's counting. How many of this term do I have? How many of this other term do I have? So let's move on. See, 2x squared. Literally, that means I got two of these terms called x squared. They're beautiful terms. They're wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, and this is kind of a trick because it's a takeaway sign. You see, so you could, you've got options now. You can say to yourself, I'm going to add three negatives. You could do that. Or you could say, I'm going to take away three x squareds which is the way I'm gonna think about it right now. So I have two of them, and if I take away three, I'm gonna have minus one, right? Because I kinda, of, I lost, I, I owe somebody an x squared now. So now I'm at minus one x squared. 
because I had two of them and I took away three of them, so now I have minus one of them. All right, onward. Hey, the number five is just five ones, so I'll put a, draw it like that. The number two over here is two ones, so I got five ones plus two ones gives me plus two. You see, we're just combining like terms, so notice my answer has all the exact same terms that I began with. You see, that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea. When you're combining, all you're doing is counting how many of each term you have. It's not so different than when we first learned to add, right? And we had like, you know, remember Miss Smith in, in, in second grade? And she's like, yo, over here, you got yourself a bucket. And it's a bucket of like bananas and apples. And over here, you got a bucket of bananas and apples, right? And so to add them, it's just to add those two buckets together and count how many bananas and apples do I have. That's really what it is. I, but, but I'm not, I ain't selling fruit. I'm a math teacher, I ain't, I ain't pushing fruit. I'm pushing polynomials. And so over here I have these three terms, and over here I have these three terms. And when I add them together, well how many of each term do I have? All right, let's, uh, let's subtract this now, boom. Let's bring a subtraction sign. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. So I'm gonna keep a lot of this the same. My drawings don't really need to change all that much. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna subtract. Now if it's like a fruit analogy, let's just say I got this bucket of bananas and apples, but I wanna make me an apple pie with maybe a banana split on the side. And so I'm really just taking, taking away apples, I'm taking away bananas, and I'm asking myself, well how many, uh, how many apples and bananas are left? That's what this is. You see, I have this, I own this, this is my bucket, and I'm taking away those. I got this, and I'm gonna take away those, so let's see what happens. I got seven x squared y's. If I take away five x squared y's, right, so I have seven, and I'm gonna get rid of this, I suppose, and it says take away five. So I'm, I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna erase five of them. And now I got two of them left. Boom. Hollow. So now I have two x squared blocks. I think my voice just cracked a little bit there. Uh, uh, maybe I need some more coffee. Maybe I need some more coffee. Yes, that's much better. That is much better. All right now, over here I have two x squared y's. Okay, I got two, uh, not x squared y's, oh, I'm tripping. I mean I do, but I meant to say two x squareds. And I'm gonna take away three negatives, or I'm gonna take away uh, a, a subtraction. And remember, anytime you take away negativity, you get more positive. It's true in your life and it's true in mathematics. I'm gonna take away negative three. And the reason I'm calling this negative is because to subtract is to add the opposite. And so I have two and I'm gonna take away a negative. So I know I'm gonna get more positive. So that's really the same as adding. So in this case, I'm subtracting, but I'm subtracting a negative. So that's, that's akin to adding. And so what's gonna happen is now I went from two to five. Now I got five x squared. Right, because I took away negative space essentially, so, so it got bigger. Uh, like I say, I ah, forget that analogy, I'll move on. So we got five, and I'm gonna take away two, that's, that's money in the bank. So that is uh, plus a three. Again, when I adding and subtracting, notice the colors, they didn't change. The same terms I began with are the terms I uh, ended with. The terms don't change when you're adding and subtracting. They only change if you multiply by some variable. That will change a term. But if all we're doing is combining like terms, then your terms shouldn't change. I mean, if you got your bucket and you've got bananas and apples over here and you've got bananas and apples over here and you're just adding them together, well, all you should have are bananas and apples. 
You shouldn't have no damn strawberries because there were no strawberries in the damn bucket. Well, look at here. The only thing in the bucket is an X squared Y, an X squared, and a bunch of ones. So my answer needs to have an X squared Y, an X squared, and a bunch of ones. It shouldn't have no new term like X to the seventh, blah, 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 blah. I wanna give you one more way to do what I just did again, all right? Just one more way, and I, 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 won't, I won't harp on the, on the explanation too long. I really won't, I promise. I promise. I'll keep it brief. I'll keep it brief. I mean, yeah, let's do this thing. All right, so I've seen a lot of students, when they subtract these, what they do is they love that, to add the opposite. So, so look at this. Here's, here's how a lot of students would approach this problem. They'll go boom, 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 right? Because that's just one of these, so they, they rewrite it. And instead of writing minus, they write plus. I'll put the parentheses. And then they add the opposite, so then they change every single sign. But it's nice because then they get to add, right? So this was a negative, so it becomes uh, positive. And this was positive, so it becomes negative. But now you're adding. So this strategy is, is basically akin to saying uh, 4 uh, minus 3 is equal to 4 plus negative 3. So you just change it to addition, flip all your signs, and then you just add the like terms. I've seen people do that with uh, quite a bit of success. So I encourage you to, to do the same thing if you like that method. Uh, other method I've seen a lot, I call, it, I call it the old write it under, right? Because a, a lot of students, they don't like to see it horizontally like that. They prefer a vertical look. Because remember, remember I brought up Miss Smith, second grade uh, teacher earlier, seven minus four. That's not how I learned it. I learned it looking like this. I learned a vertical, seven minus four. And so what a lot of students do is they'll rewrite this vertically. Let me, uh, let me show you. And this will be the grand finale on this morning. All right, so I got here, this is that term, right? And then they'll do a subtraction sign and they'll just write this exactly as it is. So it's, remember that's positive, so they're gonna write that as a positive x squared y, they're going to make that a subtraction, 3x squared, remember that's a plus 2. So they write it vertically, line up their like terms, then they just do the subtraction. 7x squared y minus 5 is 2x squared y. 2x squared minus minus 3x squared is plus 5x squared. Remember, Makes sense there if you consider it as adding a negative instead of subtracting, because then you're taking away a negative. And anytime you take away a negative, you get more positive. Every time. Every time. Trust me. Trust me. All right? Now, uh, 5 minus 2 is plus 3. Uh, I can say I, I, I hope you have a beautiful day. I, I really do. Uh, I, I hope you learned something. I always, I, I tell this to my, my students, and I think I've said on this video, I wake up in the morning, which right now is pretty damn early. I mean, there's still stars out there. Like I said, I'm, I, well, you know, I'm up with the birds. I'm up with the chickens. Uh, but every day I wake up, I, I, I try to tell myself I'm not a teacher until somebody's learned something. I always try to tell myself that. So uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you learned something already. I don't know. And that's kind of a weird internet thing, so I don't know. Screw it. Uh, cheers. <laughs>